Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Work and energy. This session is talk about work done by constant force. Work in terms of physics. The definition is work done by a constant force on an object is the product of force, displacement, and cosine theta. The theta is the angle between F and D. For example, an object it moves from the first position to the second position. And the force is a constant. That means the force is not change. Magnitude and direction is not change. And during the position one and the position two. And the displacement is D. In one dimension, if the object is moving one way from position one to position two, so the displacement also equals the distance. And in this situation, we can see general situation, the F is, is not the same direction with the D. So that's why we say the angle between these two vector, F and the D, is theta. The box is moving horizontally in this way, and the force is this way. So the direction of force and the D are different. The angle between F and the D is theta. So in terms of physics, the work done by a constant force is equals F times D times cosine theta. The unit of work we can see because W equals F times D. The unit F is Newton. The unit D is meter in SI unit. And the cosine theta, just a magnitude without any unit. That's why unit of work is Newton time meter is Joules. Let me show you two examples. The first example is a man moves a six kilogram block and over a five meter distance on a horizontal smooth surface with a 12 Newton horizontal force. What is the work done by him? So to follow the definition, W equals F times D times cosine theta. The force now is 12 Newton. The displacement in this case, same with distance, is 5 meter. And what is the theta in this situation? Because the theta is talking about the angle between F and D. And the F from the given information is horizontal force. And the D also, the box is moving on horizontally. So that's why F is horizontal, D is horizontal. So that's why both of them had the same direction. That's why we see 
angle equals zero. So cosine zero degree. So we can calculate the answer is 12 multiplied 5 is 60 Newton multiplied meter is joules. Then time cosine 0 degree, cosine 0 degree equals 1. That's why the answer equals 60 joules. So we can see as long as force, constant force F and the uh, displacement, if they have same direction, the theta equals zero. So cosine zero degree equals one. Second example, it talk about he purchased the box five meter with a 12 Newton force in the direction of 40 degree to the horizontal. Find the work done by him. So in this situation, the direction of force is not same with the direction of displacement. So that's why we need to think about the theta is 40 degree. See? The force, if this is 40 degree, in this situation, 40 degree. The force, which is 12, the displacement, which is 5 meter, and the angle between force and the displacement is 40 degree. So that's why we just put in the formula. W equals F D cosine theta equal tau newton times five meter time cosine forty degree, which is sixty joules times cosine forty. Cosine forty. equals 0 0.766 and time 40 times 60 joules times 60 we got 45.96 the answer is 46 joules Because from the given information, we have 12.0 Newton is three sig figure, and the 5.0 is two sig figure. So the answer is two sig figure, which is 46 joules. This is presented by Wise Guys. If you need help for your physics, please call 632-2251, and in Learning Assistance Center, and for help. Thank you.